apologies for the lack of videos at the end of the weekend. I at the end of last week, I was I don't know in a weird. I I took a break from the pretty much the entirety of the internet, um, because obviously I don't know. Spoiler alert: if you haven't heard, the Queen's dead. Um, and I'm not a I'm indifferent to the royal family. Like she seems all right. There's a f obviously a few dickheads in the family, um, but the whole royal family is a concept. I'm I'm kind of indifferent about like you know whatever. Okay, it's cool to have some history and so anyway, doesn't matter. It's not about that. I had trouble with the just the amount of crap I was seeing on Twitter. Like and, you, and look, I'm sure there's somebody I'm sure there's many of you people watching this video that hate the Queen or whatever. You could be from the north of England or you're from Scotland or you're from Ireland or whatever. And yes, totally get it. You do you and stuff. I guess I just didn't need to see quite so many people laughing at the death of a old little old lady. I don't know, maybe it's because my mum's older or something like that, and and it just made me a bit sad for humanity. <laughs> i got to be honest. So I was like, I'm just going to step away. There's no point. Like, fair enough, you've done another queen. If you don't have anything nice, nice to say, don't say anything. You don't, you don't have to tweet, do you? But, okay, you, you do you. Um, yes, anyway, so yeah, I just unplugged essentially um and there was no football at the weekend anyway so that was fine uh so yeah so anyway back now champions league in the balance we're about to play definitely not looking it up because i've forgotten we're about to play <clears throat> we're about to play sorry technical difference leads leads we're about to play dirty leads let's go do it Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back. Right, so things have been going well. It's going to be very tight. Um, we lost against Spurs. We beat Brentford 3-2, beat West Brom 2-0, and then Watford 3-1. You know, relatively easy running. So you say he's got a hat-trick, so of course now, today, he's injured. Um, we're playing Dirty Leeds, who are 12th. Then we're playing the Amers. We are sitting 4th. We're four points off third. We're five points off fifth. We're six points off seventh. <laughs> but we should... I think we're safe to say we're going to be in Europe. But it could be any of it. I'm worried. Our schedule is... We've got Leeds and West Ham and then we're playing Southampton. Good. Bournemouth. Good. Norwich. Good. Fulham. Good. Okay. So... We are playing 20th, 17th, 19th, 14th. Ninth and twelfth. I feel like I have no excuses to not get in the Champions League this season. Apart from the injuries. Injuries. Look at all the injuries. Right. What are we doing? West Ham. See, say, what was the injury? Okay. Cat has pulled a cow. Uh, Miller coming in. Baldy. You can get off. Oh, I'm looking forward to when Vinicius Junior goes away. I don't need to be reminded of my failures as a manager, okay? Just retire. Go now. We'll keep paying you. Just don't turn up anymore. You might as well not have. Okay, Rooks Martinez. I think he's probably in slightly better form. Boys at the back. Nando's in goal. Let's give Egan a game. Nando's just dropped off. I don't want to, like, you know... Him thinking he's guaranteed first choice. Yeah, so anyway, so I <sighs> talking about the Queen is a tricky subject. Um I'll give you like a brief because <laughs> obviously there's lots of people from around the world and around Europe and stuff that kind of know the Queen and stuff. Um so <clears throat> little sort of <laughs> dangerously dangerous history lesson. <clears throat> Queen of England, you know, UK, Great Britain, and you've heard of all of those names, right? Then, um, well, most of them don't like England because we're the baddies. We are the baddies. Um, go on, Heslop, there we are. Um, we're the baddies, or we were the baddies. Um, so, the, everybody hates us. So then, head of state, Queen dying. Everybody gets a chance to have a little, wee. fuck you. She was into slavery and she 
on her own, conquered the known universe, the known world, and and stole all these countries and stuff. You know, the queen. It was definitely the queen. She, you know, if you don't know any history about the um about England, is the queen has all the power, all the power. Um, yeah, but it's just a weird subject because I know lots of people aren't into the even the idea of royal families and stuff like this and and there's people with legitimate reasons to hate certain things and stuff so and like i said i'm not really either way i'm kind of it's cool having a bit of history and yeah, you know but it's weird um you know i'm indifferent but very people people in the uk and i'm talking to like other people from outside the uk now are very opinionated on the subject go on finish that the youngster Doug McKinley, they're very opinionated on it. So we've and and, and I I know there's uh, royal families all around Europe. So I don't know if you have, if you've got, if you're from a country, let me, let me. I'm sure it ha it does happen. If you're from a country that has a, has a royal family, and one of them died, you know, does half the population celebrate? I'm sure they do. And the problem is, I think a lot of it is just uneducated. It's not even educated people. It's just people that like being different people were complaining that the football was not on this weekend and i was like oh for fuck's sake i was a bit pissed off because i want to watch the football obviously but then i thought oh thank god for that because we're not going to have the national anthem booed by forty thousand scousers you know because it would be you know i am a liverpool fan but obviously i'm not from liverpool but i know enough about liverpool fan. <laughs> so like it's just a really weird and it, i don't know it just made me think think lots of thoughts about you know old people and death and and stuff you know because i am ancient so i'm not far off you know won't be getting a won't be getting a card will i for a hundredth birthday keep our cheap all right <clears throat> it's just a weird one so i hope you're I'm, I'm i was trying to phrase this the intro of this video without insulting anyone and saying you shouldn't be laughing at the fact a 96 year old woman's dead which Hey, um, but I like, sh probably should need to tell people that, but that's fine. But but just like it made me feel sad for humans a little bit, a little bit. And it's just some of the more extreme stuff, and you know, it's it's a weird, it's a weird, it's weird living in the UK. Sometimes it's weird being English or British or whatever the fuck you want to call it. <clears throat> And then I saw a tweet because obviously Prince Charles or King Charles um, is he had really he's got really puffy fingers like swollen little sausage fingers and people are like oh my god like taking the piss and I'm like he's a really old man though <laughs> like are we forgetting it's just forget the royal family part he's just a really old dude you know us old people have health conditions it happens right. <laughs> Okay, they've grown into this game, Leeds. I don't like the fact they've got hope. But anyway, I hope, I hope, even if you disagree with me, you've, you you understand my feelings of, of like, wow, that's just made me feel a bit sad about the universe. So hopefully I've done it without insulting anybody that doesn't like the quiz. It's a, it's a, it's a tough road to walk. I've got to be honest, let's bring the youngster on. Uh, you'll be better there. Who scored? Pascual! Garcia can come on for Nord. Okay. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. We've got to get top four this season. We'll do two games today. I think I'll skip two. I think it's going to be okay to skip two games. We should get top four regardless. If I can click on the league table. Could I get... I'm not sure because we've got... We've played a few more games, to be honest. Just we seen that. But that, it's not that big a deal finishing second or third, is it? Right. Lovely. Professional performance. Nobody got injured. All good. Okay. On to the next one. Probably our most difficult game of the season Lex, uh, left against Hammers. Bit of a gold route. Oh, wait. Before I forget. I think... I should get some credit for say, for calling out in my Premier League predictions at the beginning of the season before a ball was kicked that Thomas Tuchel was going to be the first manager sacked. And yes, technically he wasn't. 
So I'm 100% wrong in that way. But I think I get fucking some credit because I said him because it was going to scattergun approach new owners. He was going to get sacked and he's gone. Just don't just don't ruin Potter, please. Right. Oh, in other news, Liverpool are <laughs> really bad. It's almost been. Is this bad to say? Because I'm a Liverpool. It probably is bad to say, but like, I hate it. Obviously, I hate Liverpool being shit. But it is quite funny watching some fans lose their shit. I always find it funny when any extreme fans l are losing their shit. The, it's like the worst thing in the world. It's it's quite funny to me. Right on to the next game. I'm sorry, Liverpool fans, but cheer up. So West Ham don't really have much to play for. Potential outside chance of, of uh, European football. But let's just get this done, boys. All right, Baldy, you can come back in for Vinny. Penis back, which is nice. But we'll give you... That's fine. And you're back. Nobody cares. Right, okay. I'm going to bring in Mujic. Hopefully he'll have a better game. Egan keeps his place. Right, here we go. Here we go. I don't know if it's just... I don't know. Maybe my relationship with football's changed, or I'm just a bit old. Maybe I'm just a bit soft. But I'm a Liverpool fan, and it's obviously going a bit wrong at the moment. And it's sad, and it's gutting to see how bad we're playing, and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Usual. Every football fan feels that. But I'm also... I don't know, maybe I, I, can, I can just sort of... Maybe I lived through 30 years of Liverpool being far inferior to Man United and Arsenal and stuff like that and Chelsea and everything. Oh, I'm sad. Um, that maybe I'm just a bit more forgiving. Like, even if this is the end of the era for Liverpool, let's say. Let's say, worst case scenario, continue being crap. Klopp gets fired, you know. <clears throat> I'll be gutted. But also, like, I'll be like... Wow, we, you know, we had a good run. Like, not many teams can do what we just, you know, did in the last six, seven years. And I'm just sort of grateful for it. But, like, people, oh, people that's not a penalty, is it? Okay. You know, I'm just grateful for when Liverpool are good and I'm not heartbroken when Liverpool aren't. And maybe that makes me less of a fan. But... I think it's just football as, you know, it's just a game, isn't it? <laughs> just a game. I've always said it. Whether Liverpool are crap or amazing, it's not that serious. <laughs> Easy pen. It's 2-0. 25 minutes in. Man City are winning again in a shock bit of news. A tight groin. Nobody likes a tight groin. Kennedy, back post. Carl heads it away. Heslop. Let's go. Brucey, what have you got? Nice. Is it going to be a 1 2? No. 1 2 3. 4. It, I can do counting. Lovely move, boys. Right, let's get to half time. Get old groiny off. Or. No, okay. Let's not be greedy, lads. Let's not be greedy. Yanks to get some more game time. Uh, I'm going to risk the other youngster. Um, Marshall, one of our... I think he's like nine years old or something. One of our wonder kids. I think it's... Safe to say we're going to win this game. We've got an eight-point gap with playing a game extra. So let's say a five-point gap. A five-point gap without our running. We cannot slip up to Man United. We cannot. It'd be shameful. Yeah, uh, no, three. Yeah. I was showing off about counting earlier, but bottled that one. Also, another another thing about 
I've been watching the League of Legends esports, right? So that every, there's two seasons. There's a summer and the spring. And at the end of each one, they have a playoffs and a championship and a winner and stuff. And the play, the, the, the finals are happening both in Europe and the North American League. And it's over like two days and it's about 10 hours for each one. So like 20 hours, which I can't watch fully at the time. So then I'm I'm catching up with, but now I cannot check anything. I can't look on my YouTube homepage because something league will be suggested. I can't look on Twitter. I can't look in comments. I can't look anywhere. <laughs> so I don't get spoiled. And I have to quickly watch it. I've got the final to go. You can spoil it now because I would have watched it already. But so, but it's just really annoying. Well, that's another reason why I'm not looking at social media right now. Right, lovely. Perfect result, boys. Perfect episode. I was going to say, no injuries. Yeah, phone count. Couple of clean sheets. Cut the three nils. Got to do it. So we're going to skip. I'll skip the next two. And we'll come back for the final two games of the season. If it's obvious, if it's done, then I might just come back for Fulham and we'll discuss our plans. Because next season is, for me, the big one. This was always a bit of a get top four, start the rebuild, try and fix some of the money situation, which is mostly fixed. We've got new owners now. Hopefully we'll get some good budgets. All is good. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies for my... Sorry, it wasn't really a rant. It was more of a ramble on uh, on the Queeny stuff. Um, I hope you get my point. I'm not trying to say you should be for or against the Queen. It's just a bit sad, <laughs> the whole thing. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.